they don't want to be racist. They don't think that they're racist, but they also don't know some of the things that they believe or say are and can be racist. been helpful to you in combating racism? Uh, I think it's helpful and important to talk to other white people about racism. And I think a lot of people, they don't want to be racist. They don't think that they're racist, but they also don't know some of the things that they believe or say are and can be racist. I think one of the like effective ways is just to talk and kind of help teach them about why some of the things they believe or say or think are wrong, mm -hmm. not necessarily racist, but that they're wrong. And that'll sort of like chip away and, you know, contribute to some development in this area, but not necessarily take somebody from like being a racist mm -hmm. to not being a racist in one conversation. And it's just always being open to learning about racist things that we may have said or done without judgment and defensiveness. Um, he has started, Donald Trump has started giving out cash to black Americans at his rallies. Um, this whole State of the Union was like a game show where he was handing out prizes and surprises and reality TV moments. And um, this is exactly his political agenda. And you know, this is, it's not just for political reasons, but one of the reasons why I find it so frustrating that the rights of people of color are constantly negotiated and on the chopping block in politics in general um, is, you know, this is, this is one of the concerns because when suddenly the rights are, of immigrants are controversial or issues pertaining to black Americans are controversial, um, but issues facing white Americans are not controversial and they're bread and butter issues. This is what starts to happen in our political discourse. And I think that um, we need to be very careful about this um, because it's extraordinarily deliberate and it's being done with a very specific agenda. just reading today about how Milton Keynes, a famous uh, economist back in the day, predicted that by 2030, U.S. GDP would grow six to eight times what it is, which would allow for everyday people to work 15 hours a week. The thing about that is that Keynes's predictions weren't completely wrong. Uh, U.S. GDP and technological advancement has grown so much to the fact to the been enjoyed by the very people who are actually producing the goods in our society.